Welcome to Drafting 101 with Ryu Rakunchon. Today we will be talking about line weights. Before we can talk about line weights, let's start talking about pencils. What are pencils? Pencils are that we are going to be using are also known as graphite pencils, and traditionally known as lead pencils, but don't be fooled, there's no lead in it, it's just graphite. And graphite pencils come in so many different tones, from 9B all the way to 9H, and much like a snowflake millennial, each has its own individual characters. Let's take a look at these lines that I've drew here. So the top line is drawn by a 6B pencil. As you can see, it's much darker than all the other lines. All of these lines also have used the same weight that I've drawn the line in. The second one is a 4B pencil. And then the third one, I've used a 2B pencil. That's right, 2B or not 2B. As you can see, it's much lighter than the 6B or the 4B. Moving on to the 2H, I'm going to say it's safe to assume you get the point. One different characteristic, as you can see, as I rub onto the line, there is much more smudge happening in the B's pencils as opposed to the H pencils. And that is one of the different characteristics that happens with a uh, higher number B pencils versus the H pencils. And as you try to erase these as well, currently I'm drafting onto just a regular piece of vellum by 17 paper. If you are drafting on a vellum piece of paper, you will see these lines appear and remain on the page as opposed to being able to erase it from the page, such as this, currently. Now let's look at the technique of drawing lines. So I'm going to mark two different tiny dots of where I want to start the line and end the line for you to see. As you can see, I am turning my pencil. I was turning my pencil as I drew the line. So why do we turn our pencils as we draw the line? It's a little hard to see from this video, but if you don't turn your pencils, your lines actually go from thicker to thinner because the graphite eventually fades or reduces in size, right? So if you turn it, the sharpest point of the pencil remains. And in this case, as you can see, I am using the 2B pencil to create different variations of line weights. So technically, you can purchase just one pencil and create all the different line weights variations you want. Here you go. And that's all the different line weights I can make with just the 2B pencil. From the darkest weight to the lightest weight using just the 2B graphite pencil. So let's try another pencil. This is the 4B pencil. Same thing. One thing to note really is that once you practice enough with different types of pencil, you will eventually and then gain the muscle memory to draw the line weights you need to communicate in your drafting. Because believe it or not, line weights in drafting is actually part of the communication. Line variation doesn't only belong here in hand drafting, it does go all the way into how you communicate with computer-aided drafting as well. And you'll also save some money in your pocket knowing that you don't need perhaps, for example, the 2H pencil because you can make the lines as light as possible with a 2B pencil, which will develop when you practice. That is an introduction to line weights.